Hi everybody, welcome to Craft with Norma. This is my secret message, dark Victorian altered book. So the book itself is approximately four and a half inches by six and a half inches. The spine is about one and a half inches. Uh, I've just put some black um, ribbon on uh, the uh, side there. Sorry about that, someone at my door. And if I open it up, it's got three signatures in total. And the first page, or the first inside of the book, um, I've put a tag. And we've got some photos here and a clock. Now the tag is made from a children's snap card and I've gone and put a vintage pen nib just there and at the back you can actually um, journal on and I've just got a little note on there that says put pen to paper which I thought was uh, quite nice, quite like that, uh, that tag. And then here we've got on the first part of um, the signatures. I've just done a folder and I got dark Victorian and then um, a strange photo of a child with a doll. Now for whatever reason the Victorians seem to like to take pictures of um, people who have deceased and this one is one of a child with her favourite doll which is, uh, is quite sad really. But moving on we have got then a folded that fold out like so. So here we've got a small tag with a skull's head on it and here we've got just a tag with some uh, writing on ready for you to journal on yourself and then we've got a photo of a little boy on his bike just there like so and on this one here we've got a tag which is a bit strange because it seems that it's a gentleman, Victorian gentleman um, and he's got, it looks like a lady's head and whether that's um, a sculpture or not I'm not quite sure but I thought it was quite macabre so that um, slots into there like so Let me just push this in just a little bit like that the whole of the book has got this claret red running through it uh, as well as the black and gold, which um, I quite liked. And all the little tags that I've made uh, are all made of the, uh, the same paper. And I've just gone and put the uh, stencil on with some black ink, just to give it that sort of like Victorian vibe. And then on this side here, I've got just a small postcard that was posted in 1899. And then a strange photo of a, looks like a circus performer, just there. And then the next signature is a notebook with loads and loads of uh, different papers. Some of them are coffee stained, some are lined, some are plain. Uh, there's a little envelope there for you to slot uh, bits and pieces in. So you've got some worth to journal and to keep notes. And on this one I've got a beautiful picture of a lady and she's got really, really strange, spooky eyes. But again, I find that quite um, interesting. And then on the back there, I've got a picture of three children, um, all with uh, no shoes, because the poverty in the Victorian times was dreadful. Um, and that's so sad. And then on the third section here, it's just a tag folder and here I've got a little tag, at, uh, a journaling tag, a little book with just some um, lined paper in to journal in and then a little folder there that uh, you can journal on and that just slots into there like so and that goes into there like so that folds over and here we've got some children uh, little outfits as if they're in the circus 
and then some uh, laudan pe uh, poison which was um, commonly used in the Victorian times. And then here we've got a little child that's blowing a flute and I've put that on some of the Tim Holtz papers. That just slots into there like that. And here we've got um, It's Worth the Risk, which I've got to put a photo of a Victorian circus performer um, to journal on. The paper that I've used, the plain paper, that's the reverse of this paper here, this card, which I've had for I don't know how long, um, a long, long while. But uh, it does, the reverse of it does take ink really well. Just slot that back in. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, right, myself then. Uh, it's uh, someone's cutting their lawn and it's making me sneeze a little bit. So on this one, we've got just a journaling card with a Victorian couple. And then we've got a young gentleman here, uh, a worker as such. And then on the back of the book, I just put this raised uh, belly band and uh, just a notebook and I've just got a postcard on it and again it's just got some coffee stain papers um, and plain uh, paper for you to journal on and that just slots into the back. There we go, that just slots in there and that's that one and I've called that one the secret message. So. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed having a look at one of my other altered books. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And for those who have, thanks very much. And it's nice to see you again. Don't forget, you can have a look in my Etsy shop to see some of my other work. Thanks very much. Bye.